What's up, everybody? Welcome to Adobe Live. My name is Flynn. I'm here again with the wonderful Bianca Beers. Uh, before we start, we'd like to begin by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land in which we meet today. We would also like to pay our respects to elders past and present. Bianca, we're here back again for part two. Thanks for joining us. No worries. Sorry, I'm <laughs> eating breakfast. Gotta have your breakfast. Tea. <laughs> no, uh, you know what? Have you ever, you drink tea on an empty stomach and it makes you feel sick? Like, you're going to vomit? Not really. I don't drink no. tea. Is that, is, that a, is that a tea hazard? I think so. Maybe Damn. it's just me. But it's the same as if you've ever had a tablet on an empty stomach and you feel like queasy. Oh, oh right. I don't yeah. know if this is just me. But, so I'm just saving my stomach right now. Yeah, go, cra eat, um, go, go crackers. Go for it. Um, while I'm you're doing that, I'm going to say hi to everyone. Hey, everybody in chat. We're over at behance.net slash live. That is the chat that we're using today for the next hour while we hang out with Bianca. Um, I can see Festus in the chat. Hey, Sam. Um, that was a great stream before. Um, who else mm. we got? We got Sherry as well. Uh, super cool. Um, R&B is in the house. Johanna is looking after us today, sharing useful links and all the stuff you need. Um, Sherry's from Toronto. That's super cool. Um, Bianca and I are from oh, Sydney, so we're streaming out here. It's the morning over here. Um, Mercurial as well. Uh, Las Vegas. That's super cool. Ruth is in Tasmania. How are you going? I hope you're doing well. Um, wonderful to see you all. Um, please say hello in chat. Um, we're going to be hanging out. You can ask questions um, about everything we're doing. We can ask questions about, hey, how does that neural filter work? I think we've cracked that one <laughs> between the first stream, um, which is super cool. So um, Bianca's going to show us how to do that. Um, but yeah, this is a continuation on from the last stream. Um, so enough of my talking. Um, how about we... How about we do a bit of a recap? And if you want to, we can jump over to your desktop now. We can show everyone where yeah. we started and then we can kind of kick on from there. Okay, so we're going to start with what we left off on, which is nothing to write home about, but here we go. So I was referencing from um, a black and white image of Carter G. Woodson, um, who is the founder of Black History Month. Um, and I just, I just don't vibe black and white. So what I was trying to do last episode was figure out the neural filters, but I was a bit nervous and I just didn't take my time to actually just click one button. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So as you can see, this is a black and white image. I'm just going to um, convert it to a smart object and then in filters, neural filters, as it loads, um, I freaked out at this stage, but I didn't realize I just had to press this button. And it's always it's something simple. <laughs> yeah. You need to download the different um, neural functions. So I've pre downloaded this, but now it's here already. And all I need to do is toggle it to turn it on. And in a sec, it'll colorize, which is really dope. Um, newer photos colorize way more. Um, clearly. So like mm -hmm. with more variation, the older they are, the, the more CPA-ish, I guess, they turn out like, but it's fine. So where I went from there, because I didn't want to redo any of this because I really hate inefficiency, I just changed um, the color using image adjustments. And this was off, this is all like yesterday, <laughs> 10 minutes yesterday. So um, I went to color balance and then I just tried to match it as close I could changing red a bit more yellow no nope, cool more red. so so yeah. you've got this black and white photo and then you've used a new mm -hmm. you've used the neural filter to add a bit add a bit of color get like adobe's yeah. you know ai to to figure that out for us and then you're using that as mm -hmm. a reference to kind of colorize the the black and white illustration that you've done so far yeah cool so this is what you have when you change it um and mm -hmm. it looks obviously a bit sepia-ish so what i've done 
is um, just like kind of, <laughs> I'm not really happy with it, but I added a bit of color um, just to, I'll show you the difference, just to give it a bit of variation. So I just added mm -hmm. something here and there. I'm not super, I didn't spend heaps of time on it because it's not the focus point of the entire image. So we can get rid of this reference now because we're done. I just wanted to show you guys the neural filter so that I didn't leave you guys hanging. <laughs> um, so now I want to, I want to put a bit of a background in, um, and what I had done, I might just do it again. I fully planned this out already like last night, but I'm going to take you guys step by step. Yeah. Take us through so it. I'm That's awesome. Drop. Thank you for planning everything yeah. out. You're always so prepared. <laughs> I, I just, I get so nervous on these things that I need to plan otherwise like stuff like forgetting how to press a button for the neural filter happens. Oh, we all do that. We were Ooh. talking about before we go live that that's something like if, like what we all do is of course, we're trying to figure something out and then we think, wait, what am I doing wrong? There's some little thing I'm doing wrong. And then you quickly Google it mm. and then like, ah, I forgot to turn that button on or I forgot to rasterize it or turn Simple it to a smart mistakes. object or something. It's always something small, always something tiny Simple like that. Mistakes. Yeah. So what I've done here is I've just dropped in a PNG that I have on my desktop, which I use sometimes with my artworks. It's just like a texture, um, a texture file. So sometimes I change the color from black, but I'm liking the black because it's a bit gritty. So I'm going to leave that. Mm -hmm. And then, um, okay. So what I wanted to do, I'm going to find a quote by this guy. Um, cause he's got quite a few that are around, but I'm going to, bring this thing. So what we're doing normally with my backgrounds, I'll illustrate, I'll illustrate the background, mm -hmm. but I think we're going to go a little bit in between illustration and collage. I've never done a collage before in my life. So bear with me. Cool. Um, so I thought it, I found this on Google. It's just um, a PNG of a torn piece of paper, but you can make your own as well. I was just lazy. Like I literally had 10 minutes last night. So I probably put the quote on that piece of paper um and then i wanted to layer it with some kind of african looking prints i've downloaded a few but i really like the yellow now, well you you've obviously grabbed these assets as you mentioned very quickly <laughs> for this stream for, yeah. for us do you do you keep yeah. like a library of assets that you reference no. or do you do it different every time i know you mentioned this is kind of the first time you're really doing this kind of collage style but yeah do you do you have like a giant like filed well labeled like collection of <laughs> assets that you might use or you, do you just do it on the fly as you're rolling along i've always thought about it because i'll come across like i'll do some once i know i want something like maybe a paper fold or like some texture or something like that or some pattern mm. um and i know it's something i'll use again i'm i keep it on my desktop for like a month thinking like yeah i'll make a folder eventually but then i never do so i always end up deleting it um, so yeah, yeah, the answer is no. The answer is no. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized that this has like the shutter shock, um, thing over it. Like you could see the camera there, but I'm, it's not going to be a focal point. So I'm not, I'm not too fussed. I feel like I like it anyway. Cool. So I may try to make it look kind of rough. So it's just like a torn off thing. And then should we look for, I might on my phone look for a quote of his. Okay, um, cool. I'm just going to shout out to a couple of people like in chat while you're doing yes. that. Yes, um, love that. So, yeah, hey, Tracy from San Diego. Like, I just love finding out like where, where you're all tuning in from. It's so cool. Uh, Manuel from mm. Ghana as well. Super nice. Jessica T is here. Oh, Ghana. Super cool. Um, Jenna's in the house. It's nice to, nice to have you all joining us today. So, yeah, you can just ask questions as we're, as we're going along about the piece or about, about freelancing illustration i know in past streams um bianca's always dropped a lot of helpful info about working with brands um so she's worked with a lot of big brands like yeah. um you know nike and microsoft and things like that so um if you have any freelancing questions go for it as we're going along yeah big time like i'm happy to repeat myself as well everyone deserves to learn a little thing or two so i work with a lot of brands i work like can i drop the brands that i can that i work yeah. with on here or yeah 
Yep. Um, so obviously I work with Adobe. I work with Microsoft as well. Um, Nike, Puma, Asics, a lot of streetwear brands um, and like beauty brands too. So um, I work mm. with Frank Body a lot as well. So the stuff I do is like drawing portraits, but also creating stuff like filters for like socials. So like Instagram filters and gifts, like gift stickers for socials or for events. Um, and often at events, they'll get me to come in and customize like if it's a sneaker store, customize sneakers for the customers or like customize jackets or wallets or denim or leather goods or whatever. Um, and even drawing live portraits sometimes, which is really scary because people are like, like, oh yeah, can you make it like a five minute time limit per portrait? And it's just like, okay, I don't know what you think I can do in five minutes. But all right, <laughs> I'll try my best. So what, is it, what does right, that so what does that mean, a five minute live portrait? Like, is that like... So anyone at, the, like event at an gets event gets a live portrait. Right. Yeah, so at an event. So they'll get me to do portraits of anyone who comes by to my little section and wants a portrait, but I mm -hmm. can limit it to five minutes only so everyone can get a chance. Wow. Like, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, my gosh. It's, it's stressful. That's stressful to me. Man, um, you so would get, you right get right stick figures just... from me if I had five minutes to do it. Sorry, go on. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right. <laughs> um, I'm just writing down a quote that I've seen on um, Google of his, which is, the mere imparting of information is not education. So he was big on um, mm. informing the black community of their history and heritage because at his time, which was the 1800s to early 1900s, nobody knew anything about African history in America. Mm. Um, so he was one of the pioneers in that in that um, field. Right. Cool. So I'm just going to do something like this. Carter. Woodson and then free transform it and just pop it here. I'm, oh, it's under the book paper. I'm not too fast because this isn't going to be. Oh, maybe I'll have to um, change it up a bit. Do a bit of typesetting. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. Look at that. Okay. So nice. easy. Just a little enter. <laughs> and then we'll make it a bit bigger. Okay. Ruth in chat says, it sounds like you need a secretary for all the organization for all those brands. Oh, you know what? Once I can afford one, definitely. <laughs> I like the dream is to be a bougie woman with a beachside house in Bondi and I have a live-in chef and I have a personal assistant and I have a personal driver too. Oh, actually, I swear that wasn't a planned segue, but you guys will be pleased to know I'm a full adult, adult now. I got my um, license directly after um, we had our last little live on Tuesday. Nice. Congratulations. I'm really, I'm really proud of it. Thank you so much. It was a whole thing. So like I got there and Oh wait, maybe I should explain this first. So I'm dropping in these flowers um, because I I was looking up researching American natives and this is one mm. of them, it's called the cone flower. And I wanted to pop these in just so I could show you guys, um, I don't know if I need to rasterize it, I think I do, um, the, the new, what's it called? Object selection, selection tool. So instead of manually selecting something, you can mm. literally just drag a square over it and it knows, which is like so quick and easy such a great shortcut the years and years of deep etching images all the time Honestly. that i've spent <laughs> cutting things out and there's just automatically does it for us now which is pretty crazy so good yeah but you still do need to refine it so i'm just gonna take out these parts um maybe like that so while i do this because it doesn't really need much explanation so i got to the rta right and i'm keen it's 10 a.m i'm at like 10 10 30 Right. I had to go straight after. Oh, it was like after right the after the stream. Like we literally, went. Literally. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Literally. Okay. Because it was the only, it was the only one they had for like two months or something. Wow. Anyways. Yeah. It's crazy. Um, so I get there and I'm filling out the form and it says, do you have any eyesight problems um, that might impair your driving? And my left eye is blind. So I'm like, oh shit. Like I've, I've had this for my whole life and I feel like it wouldn't really like I'm used to it so I don't even think about it so I called the woman over I'm like hey I don't know whether to answer yes or no she's like well if you answer yes then you need to answer the next question which is um 
uh, does glasses fix this problem? And if the answer to that is no, which of course it is for me because my eyes are blind and mm. I was just born that way, um, you have to go get an optometrist's um, like certification that you're okay to drive and you don't need glasses. So basically, it's just to say, yeah, like glasses aren't going to fix her blindness. Right. Um, which is just a waste of time. And I was like, okay, I could just go today and then come back. They were like, no, you'll have to book again for the next one that we have, which is in two months for the wow. driver's test. And I had put in so much effort with my makeup to look cute for my photo. Like, <laughs> you got your priorities in order. I love that. I mean, yeah, I, I know. Yeah. I know. <laughs> and so they were like, okay, go wait in this line um, to change the date. And it was like a whole hour later. I finally got to the top of the line. Um, and I just begged with the woman and she's like, okay, look, if you go straight to the optometrist right now, I'll let you sneak back in and then you can do the test. So I ran to the optometrist, the closest one I could find. And I, they did the whole thing and yeah, 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 she's fine to drive. And then I came back and got my license and I was just like, if I fail, if I fail this test now, that would be so embarrassing. Anyways, on this layer now, I've selected everything. It's kind of rough, but I'm happy with that. I'm just going to layer by a copy because I don't want to delete that layer just in case. Oh, mm -hmm. whoops. I just realized I didn't include this stem from this flower, so I'm going to include that. Um, so, yeah, I got my license. Amazing. So, it only took, like, literally seven hours, but I got it. <laughs> it's done. That's a, good, that's a good job done. No, no. All right. So, that's cool. What I'm wanting to do with this is make it a bit illustration-y and go over it with some... That way I don't need to smooth the edges or anything, which, to be honest, I've never done because I don't do collages. I know it's something to do with, like, feathering, but... I like it. We're just learning learning live together. I like that you're yeah. using the live stream to, like, experiment a little bit yeah that's really cool well, i thought it would be good to try something new and like also as well i think it can be intimidating when someone knows exactly what they're doing and mm. they just do it really quick and you don't even get to see what they've done right because they just do it it's so natural for them and you're mm. just trying to follow along like uh i don't know what's going on so sometimes it can be a little bit of a comfort to know like even us like professional illustrators that do it for work sometimes mm. don't know what's going on and we've yeah, got we, to learn too. It's all about learning constantly. Absolutely. And learning learning from each other. Like there's so many so many streams we've had with like other like other people we've streamed with and other artists are in the chat and they're like, oh wow, I didn't realise that that person did that. Did it that way mm. or like learn so much from each from each other all the time. Um, but yeah, it's love that. It, it's it's interesting what you said then, like you can go really fast and something that's very, very natural for you to do. Um you know, someone in the audience like, might say, whoa, 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 how did yeah. you do that? Like, and so, oh, you just press this shortcut um, and then everything looks amazing. And it's like, what? I didn't know about that. It's crazy. I even do that sometimes as well. Like in past, I remember, um, I think maybe it was the first one we ever did and I was moving too fast and because I was freaking out that I wouldn't have enough time, but now I don't freak out as much. And back then they were two hours, weren't they? The lives? Yeah, we did some two-hour sessions. Yeah, last year, I was doing <laughs> eight hours. Hour, I was doing eight hours a week. <laughs> that was a lot. Were you? Yeah, we did so oh much last gosh. year. Yeah, last year went off. Wow. Yep. Yep. I'm gonna drop in another Australian native flower, which I forget the name of this one, so forgive me. But we're gonna do the same thing. So the object selection tool, and I think I want to use this guy and this one. And these ones, whoops, a bit bigger. Nice. Yep, perfect. I feel like I don't even need to refine that at all. So I'm going to layer by a copy and hide that. And I'm going to bring them together. So they're in the same little joint. Actually, I might cut that just so if they're in the same layout, when you place it somewhere, um, then it, if it overlaps, it like removes, obviously, um, the other information that's overlapping. Mm. So maybe we'll do So that. you make putting all those three flowers on all individual layers. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. It's quite cool with this style that you've done um, with the the outline, like the rough kind of um, yeah. highlighted outline around the edges. Like it means that you don't have to be too precious 
with how you cut it out, like you mentioned, like feathering or all that sort of stuff, you're trying to make something photorealistic. You, you know, you can spend a really long time kind of sweating the, mm. the small details. And, and we've only got an hour, so we, we don't know. <laughs> we don't know. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time but for I that. But I like it. It adds a bit of flavor, you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. It and ties it together with what I'm planning to do, which is yep. a whole bunch of yellow, so it gives it a bit of something. Um, maybe a bit bigger. And we'll do the same, and then we'll add some other elements. What else is new with you? Have you gotten up to anything in the last two days? <laughs> I dropped. I yeah. My my daughter started preschool yesterday. Um, Did she? She yeah. started. She started. I dropped her oh, off, wow. and I dropped her Did off again this morning. She's she losing her mind. She loves it so much. Like, oh, okay. Yeah. Not no. crying at all. No, no. So she's. I dropped her off today. So today's only her second day, and I dropped her off, and she did, and she just goes bye bye. Bye bye. And I'm like, oh, See okay. you later. <laughs> You're old news. <laughs> yeah. And she just turned around and started playing with the Play Doh and the other kids and stuff. Oh, bless. It's very cute. Do you feel obsolete? Obsolete? Is it like, oh no, she's. Because I no. know my mum cried when I went to when I went to primary school, I'm pretty sure. No, she just loves it's it like, so oh, much. No. It's super cool. That's dope. It's fun. So oh, that's what's kids up with me. It's such a responsibility. I, I'm so, like, scared. And I, I have this. I believe people should have a license to have to have kids because like people are out there <laughs> making babies and they don't even know how to take care of their kids. So I'm one of those ones. It should be like max two per family <laughs> for the environment. I think you and have you've to got go. to obtain a license to have them. Yeah, you, you got to go so to the like, RTA, uh, get your yeah, L's. <laughs> line up. For, yeah, exactly. Line up for a couple of hours. <laughs> Question your whole life while you're sitting there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Literally, I left at like 3 p.m. or 3 p.m. I left and I was booked for 10 a.m. So it was a whole ordeal. It was wow. Crazy. But it's mercury, mercury retrograde right now. I don't know if you know what that means, but it explains it. Is that an astrology, astrology yes, thing? Yes, it is. Yeah. yeah, I totally, totally understand and know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> so they say that, so mercury... Mercury. Mercury is the first planet in the solar system from the sun. Right. Um, and they say that when it passes between us and the sun, it's Mercury retrograde because in the sky, it looks like Mercury is traveling backwards as opposed to forwards. Huh. For some reason, I don't know why it's like a trick of the eye or something. Um, only when it's traveling between us and the sun. And so they say like during Mercury retrograde, everything goes wrong. Like you can't think properly, technology stuffs up. So like don't buy appli appliances during Mercury retrograde, don't book flights, don't sign contracts, all this type of stuff in wow. astrology, right? And so I was just thinking, like freaking out at the RTA and I put a little story on my um, on my Instagram asking my followers like should I lie about not having a blind eye or should I rebook the test and one guy was like it's Mercury retrograde just rebook it because things are gonna go wrong <laughs> but we figured it out and I left them some chocolates at the end for being so helpful nice a little bit of bribery at the end that's great see okay it was after I passed so that's not bribery <laughs> I did it at the very end the very very end I believe you so totally. that's not that's not bribery right <laughs> no and I, I didn't promise them anything. I just thought they, they did a good job and they deserve to be. Um, what's a little watered? Maybe that's a bit B. So right now I've just written B, H, M, because it's Black History Month. And I'm going to do something with it. Um, so I'm just layering until I love what everything looks like. Because right now it's mm. looking okay, but I want it to be a bit more chaotic. <laughs> cool. <laughs> So in that vein, these are not going to be in a straight line. They're going to be wonky. And don't really forget, you guys, you can ask questions if you do have questions as we're going along. If you're watching mm -hmm. on YouTube, we're using the chat over at behance.net slash live. So if you want to jump in there, um, say hello. Have any questions as we're going along? Do you have your driver's license? <laughs> yeah. What's it like now? So in, how a, in a, yeah, and how old were you when you got it? Um, when I got mine like as soon as possible, like within a couple of days, you as I could those get those ones. You were so keen. Yeah, I was super keen to drive around. I grew up. In, I grew up in the suburbs, so I was like, if you didn't have, if you had a car, you could do anything. It was so cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Take girls out on dates and be naughty and drive to Macca's and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. 
see, I wasn't allowed out of the house until I was 18. Like I literally was allowed to go to church and school and that's it. So for me, there was no incentive to having a license because what the hell am I going to do with it? Drive with my dad around the neighborhood. Yeah, <laughs> fair enough. I did get it though when I was like 18 eventually, but then I tried driving for five minutes and I just started crying. Because my left eye, because it's blind, I kind of freak out. Like I often walk into things on this side. Like I right. walked into a moving bus and didn't realize until I was hit. Wow. That's were you okay? I was, I was fine. It was like slowing down because we were near a light and it hit me and I felt back. And then the driver stopped to get out and like see if I was okay. But I thought I'd get in trouble because I was in high school oh. and I just ran away. But I the had a is- really sore shoulder for like weeks. Oh my gosh. That bus driver would have been freaking out. It's like, I've just hit a yeah. school kid with my bus. I know. <laughs> but I ran away, so who's probably like, oh, phew, like, cool. I guess she's not going to press charges. Yeah. <laughs> Terrifying. Yeah. Kids are dumb. We do dumb things. Uh, we, have a question, we have a question. What's, what's Maccas? <laughs> Maccas is what oh, we call McDonald's. McDonald's in Australia. Where are they from? America. Mickey D's. Mickey D's, maybe. Is it? Yeah. It's just, it Austra- it's just Australian. States? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Oh. But yeah, that's just our slang for McDonald's. That was the cool thing. I remember going to the movies um, and going to McDonald's when people had cars back when I was in high school. And they'd call me from the cinema and be like, oh my gosh, we miss you. We wish you were here. And I'd be at home like, <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> So I'm just drawing, as I always do, a bit of florals. Um, I love my florals. It really can distract you from the horrible shading job that you've done. Um, <laughs> I'm liking it so far. It's really scrapbooky, which is what I wanted. Yeah. It's like mixed media, like with the, with the type. Yeah. And the bit of depth yeah. with the, the collage part of it. Yeah. Um, Maybe a bit of a different one here. Maybe not there. Maybe like more up here. Something like this. Jessica's asking, is it always sunny in Australia? No, not always. It's actually pretty nice today, though. Come on. Yeah. This summer, though, I'm not going to lie. This summer has been really rainy, hasn't it? Yeah. The hot days have been very hot, though, as well. Yeah, like muggy as it's not the heat so much that well the heat does kill you but it's the it's the mugginess the humidity that's what i hate mm, yep you know what i mean because mm-hmm. um, then you're just sweating through your clothes you look a mess it's horrible yeah if you're out and about because because i don't drive i'm often walking to the train station or this and that and it gets hot i'm not really liking those I like that. I need to redo this. Bye. Festus is saying he's one of the few adults on the planet without a driver's license. Never had one. Yeah, you can totally get by without one. You can. I was always like thinking, you know, it's better for the environment if I catch public transport and this and that. Mm. But being freelance, I just think it helps to have one you know what i mean like Mm. certain things you need to do like you've got a meeting at this and then something else at another somewhere else and it just gets really it gets a lot if you're just catching public transport but i totally get um not having one because sometimes if you're in the city like located in the city or something you don't really need one yeah i lived in the city for about 10 years so i was just actually bike riding everywhere and i got mad abs and tries so (laughs) <laughs> That's an option if you live in the city. <laughs> That's true. You're in Randwick, aren't you, Flynn? Yeah, I'm in Randwick. Randwick. Yep. Nice. I used to live there too. It's a cool area. It's a good spot, yeah. I've mm. only been here for about a year and a half, but yeah, I like it. As in, in Sydney? In, in Randwick. I've lived all over Sydney. Oh. Redfern, Surrey Hills. And only Sydney? Paddington. Yeah, only Sydney, yeah. No. I'm thinking I'm gonna add like a little like spray paint looking thing to add a bit of like grunge. No, it's not grunge, but grunginess ish, street art ish kind of vibe. 
So what I've just done is selected this soft round brush and on a new layer, I'm just going to see how this goes. So do that a couple of times. Yeah. And then maybe a small one here. Maybe a bigger one here. So this is kind of like a bit more of like a spray paint kind of look. Is that yes. what you're adding in? Yeah. So this is like, so you know, if you like spray something, it's not going to obviously make a hard circle. It's going to make a soft circle. And then I'm going to add some drip, which will need it hard. So I'll just increase the hardness and bring that down. And yeah, this is like really way. coming together. Like this is looking super cool. I Thank you. I think <laughs> we need to move it down a bit, like just locate it a bit further towards the bottom because I think it's, yeah, like there, or maybe a bit more. Oh. Yeah, cool. So where were we? Spraying new layer. Cool. So for the drip, just, just a red card. Oh no, maybe a bit bigger than that. And then shift so it's just straight. It looks like a little drip. Like yeah, cool. Over. Mm. And this one. Cool. Is that alright? Yeah, pretty much. Nice. I think this one. I've got a question from chat yeah. for you, if you're ready for that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I am. Um, does Bianca know any other artists in Australia? So maybe, yeah, who, like, yeah. for people that maybe not, may not be, yeah, Instagram I guess, or? yeah, yeah, I guess to follow, like, who, who comes top of your mind when someone, someone outside of Australia is like, well, who are the, you know, who are the artists that we should look at or that you know, or maybe that inspire you? Lots. Um, Lots. So mates of mine that are dope artists, um, Martina Martian, who is, she, she's done lives with you guys before, I think. Yeah, she? Martina's done some lives with us. I think she's in London at the moment. She was last she time is. I checked yeah, yeah, in. Yeah, she is. Yeah. Yep, she is still. This needs to go under here. Um, so there's her. She does really cute. Oh, actually, she's kind of changed her. So she did really cute kind of stuff. Um, like... Uh, cartoony of the really cute pastel palettes like light blue like pink um, but now she's doing more collage kind of photography and collage art which is really cool mm. um, and then there's Mark Conlon Conlon or Colin I think it's Conlon Conlon Oops. yeah I've got one of his artworks on my wall but the signature doesn't have okay never mind Conlon he does really cool what would you call it it's kind of like minimalistic um bright colorful uptifting kind of little yeah it's very positive his work isn't it like it's extremely yeah, yeah, yeah. like everything he does is like it's a it's a very po kind of yeah very positive yeah i call it minimalistic i think like, like very a lot of purposeful strokes yeah yeah, yeah 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 exactly really really clean lines mm. um not too much color used like variation in his um images so he'll probably choose a palette of like five colors max um mark um who else i'm just gonna hop on my instagram and see <laughs> who i follow sorry oh z on instagram she's zeke's lunchbox uh she was a sydney artist but she moved to melbourne and she's really dope right now she's designing um a tarot deck like tarot card deck oh cool and her art is sick it's really whimsical like she makes up her own little like beasts and like settings like really really whimsical and bright like really really cool um who else uh on instagram ritual 44 that's one of my friends here in seven hills she lives um like half an hour away um she does really cool uh kind of grungy illustrations really really um uh I wouldn't say like centered around f women and um, female empowerment and like witchy stuff because she's a bit of like a she's into a tarot and astrology and all that type of stuff. So that, cool. I think that's all I can think of. Oh, and um, Chris Chris Yee, 
he's yay the east i think on instagram and he's really so he's an artist and all his um art is really like asian influenced mm -hmm. and it's just really really sick so yeah those are my picks there you go <laughs> lots of people to check out we've had half of those people yeah. on on adobe live before which is cool oh. <laughs> so nothing new here <laughs> no 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 half of them i mean like martina has been on a couple of times and uh mm -hmm. mark mark once got him got him on once we did some stuff with really? fresco which was cool when he just kind of happened to be in town for something else so um the stars aligned for that one to continue yeah. our astrology he's a busy boy he is a busy he boy a stuff for like big 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 companies yeah because he's got that kind of style that it's clean, non-offensive, really, really aesthetic, and like you can catch the meaning, like just in an eye shot. Like mm. you don't really need it. Yeah. All right. So basically, what I've done because I was there was a lot of yellow, so I just put a bit of red behind there, um, mm. and just reduced the opacity a bit because the red, red is like a lot, and I wanted that grungy thing to show through in the back. Nice. Um, I'm going to merge those together because a lot of layers kind of gives me anxiety. A bit of anxiety. <laughs> um, I'll, leave, I'll merge those together as well. Um, rasterize the type and then merge. What's time-wise what we got? We've got like 18 minutes left to be specific. Okay, cool. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. That's good. Whew, that gives me time. Love that. Nice. You've been going, you've done a lot. Like I say this a lot. I'm always so surprised like how much people can do while I'm still like asking them questions and interrupting as they're going along. Yeah. But yeah, this, this piece is coming together. So great. Um, yeah. Lots of comments in the chat that um, this piece is coming together and looking really, really great. It's something about the mixed media like style. Like I really love the illustration mm -hmm. on top of the, on top of the imagery. I know you do that quite mm -hmm. a lot in your style and there's like, um, yeah, but I, I guess my question is like, how do you find not including parts of the image. So I'm, I'm going to use an example. So if you see yeah. the, the the line of the outline of um, the blazer, um, like yeah. you just haven't included anything in there and just totally works like really, really well. I would, I almost mm. feel like if I was doing something, I'd want to include more and more of the actual yeah. image, but like, how do you find the give and take between, you know, less is more? Like, how do you go? Yeah, this is where I'm going to finish the outline. This is going to kind of be a bit more minimal, like a bit, a bit less. Well, good question. I just fluke it often. Um, so I just play around. The good thing about drawing digital is you can play around. Yeah. So um, initially, I don't know if you guys remembered, but I had sketched, like the black and white sketch included the, um, whatever you call this. Is that a lapel? Is that what that is? Collar. Oh, yeah. Collar. The collar? Yeah, collar. <laughs> and, and also the shoulders. And so sometimes I would fill in that area as well. But it's kind of useless because that's just going to be black. Mm. You know what I mean? Like it, right. it doesn't add anything. So I just thought, okay, I'm going to get rid of the outline and we'll just do, um, I was going to cover this gray bit with yellow, but I can't be bothered. Um, I just thought, okay, get rid of the outline. Instead, just sketch up the collar with yellow because that was like mm. a reminder for me to add yellow in the background later. But also I just thought it would help tie it together. And then it wouldn't look so disjointed because I think, um, if I had the solid, solid shoulders and everything, and then um, like I would water it out. So the usually when I draw a bit mm. of the torso as well, I'll like um, reduce the opacity and have a bit of texture going. So it kind of blends. But I, I felt like this was better for this one. Yeah. So it's just trial and error. You you see like keep everything in separate layers and just see what works. Mm. Yeah. Cool. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. I think a lot of that comes with experience as well because like I didn't see you try 20 different things all I saw was it just kind of come together perfectly so it looks like you've just <laughs> like sort of yeah that works that works cool move on yeah Bang. but true. yeah that make that makes sense like I think a lot of that must come from experience of of yeah understanding like keeping in the things that are, have a lot of detail and as soon as you said that it made so much sense you know the black mm. suit is just a black suit so you know there's not much you can do with it so you you're adding your own flair and your own flavor to it which is yeah, which makes a lot of sense. That's super cool. Thanks for answering that. Yeah, of course. Thanks for the cool question. So now I've just grabbed a spray um, brush from Carl's Special Effects Brushes. His brushes are so good. It's the only pack I have because it was free <laughs> and I'm cheap. Um, but it's so good. They're all free now, all the Carl, Carl T. Webster packs. Mm, they're so good. 
So I sometimes use these for freckles if I'm really lazy. Like I'll just, smaller, you can't really tell that they're splatter. So I'll use them for freckles and then just delete some that I think like, um, oh no, that may be a bit much. Cause you can't really control where the splatter goes. It just kind of goes where it goes. Yeah. It's cool. Um, I think I think Kyle was on just before us actually. Was he? Um, today. Is that right chat? That's I was crazy. too busy setting everything up, but I think so. Well, that's cool. I don't even know what he looks like. Maybe I should have a look. Check he has Instagram. Does he have Instagram? Yeah. What do you know? On, he's on Twitter a lot. I follow him on oh, Twitter I'm a lot. Not a Twitter person. Like I just people's opinions. Who cares? <laughs> Is that really bad. <laughs> it's just I don't have the time. I'm a very visual person. We we're talking about this earlier. Like you're yeah. really into podcasts, but I'm not. Like. If I don't have something visual to anchor me, I lose interest and I'm just off with the fairies thinking about like, oh, I can't wait to have my mansion by the sea and totally. the grand piano in the foil. <laughs> <laughs> that type of thing, you know, that that type of thing. <laughs> Got to get that Bondi mansion vibe. <laughs> honestly, honestly. So I think I'm okay with this. I'm just trying to see, like, I wanted to add a bit of red splatter so there was a bit more red going on because I think it gives a bit more variation. But is that a bit light? I'm going to see if I duplicate the layer. Is it a bit more bold? It is, but mm, I don't really like it. So maybe I'll reduce the opacity of that. So, yeah. Um, does it look like blood? I hope not. I'm just trying to give it like a mm. collage like spray, street arty kind of vibe. Um, and then, I don't know. I feel like I'm almost done. And we have what? How long like, do we have? Like 10 minutes left? We can, right. we can grab Thank some you. questions. Maybe we could throw some questions in chat yeah, as well. So let us know. That'd be good. Um, so rare that we'll end up with like any extra time for questions. So that's super cool. So get your questions in, guys. I'll have a bunch anyway. Um, yeah, so Kyle was in, indeed on just before us. Um, and he drew oh, a kangaroo, nice. which is really nice. We missed oh, out on the kangaroo. That's funny. <laughs> so wait, he's drawing an... Is he from Australia? No, he's from the US. So look at that. He's drawing something Australian and I'm drawing something American. There you go. Thank you. That's so cute. Love that. Um, so right now I'm just seeing how I go with, um, I mean, you can't see it. It's like behind everything, but I'm just typing out cause this guy that I am drawing right here was a historian, a journalist and an author. So I'm just going to see if I can work these into um, the image somewhere. I may just hand draw it instead, but we'll see. Um, cool. And then, yeah, sorry, if you have any questions, go ahead. I'm just. Well, I got a question about this. Stuff. I got a question about this. Yeah. So, will this, so you're saying that you might end up just drawing these. Will you often like use, yeah. a, use a font if you're adding type to your image, even mm -hmm. if you're going to draw it? Will, will you ever, you know, select a font, kind of place it to get everything right, and then draw kind of over it in your own style? Is that something that you do? Some, yeah, sometimes, not yeah. always though. Sometimes I know exactly what I want to do and sometimes I don't. So I'll just put it there as like a placekeeper to say, okay, I want to put that there. Um, but I don't know if I want it this font or if I want to change it. But sometimes I just know, oh yeah, I know that's going to look there. So sometimes you just have a feeling and and it's like that flow thing, you know, sometimes when you're in flow, you, you've got it already, you know what yeah. I mean? And you know what you're doing. And sometimes you kind of have to play a little bit more and just see what's up. Cool. So I'm going to change the sizes. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to hand draw this in black as well because if I do it in yellow, it'll be too too much yellow going on. But if I hand draw it in black, it may be a bit too heavy because my handwriting is kind of like not the best. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, in here. While you're doing that, we do have a question. Um, mm -hmm. So um, Bruce is asking, Bianca, how did you come to work with these big brands? So we did mention that, like, yeah, you've worked with all these big brands. How did you, how did that start? Or like any advice for other people? Or tell us a story, like how do, how do I get to work with Nike and uh, Microsoft and things like that? I'm going to be super honest. I was just only just telling my friend this yesterday. Um, 
So it all started, so once you've got one brand on board, a lot of the others follow because like, oh, look, she worked with Microsoft. Oh, she worked with Nike. <laughs> we want to work with her. So it's all about that first one, basically. Right. And I was just lucky in that I used to work at Platypus, the sneaker store um, mm -hmm. in Australia. It's a sneaker store. And I was just like a sales person. Um, but I was a really good salesperson. I was like top top five or top 10 in the whole country. Um, this was when I first started working there and I was like really motivated. <laughs> I worked there for seven years and I eventually lost interest. But at the beginning, I was one of the best salespeople they had in the country and um, head office loved me. So they had, um, they knew I was doing art on the side. Like I think I was studying certificate for in design at TAFE mm -hmm. um, and they knew that I was doing that. So they, um, approach me and they're like, look, we've got Valentine's Day coming up. How would you and your partner like to do a shoot for us for like a Valentine's campaign and then you can draw like over the photo? Cool. And I was like, oh wow, this is amazing. You're my first client. And they literally, I don't want to like bad mouth them, but they paid me in a $50 gift voucher. Um, <laughs> but I think we got free shoes as well, which was cool. And as a first gig, you're just eager to work with whoever. Right. Um, so I did it, I was so keen, and then immediately, because I had a website already, I just put that down, clients include platypus shoes, and I was so proud of myself. Yeah, um, nice. But then not, not too long after that, I think it was a couple months after, Nike approached me to do same thing. It wasn't paid. They gave me a pair of sneakers, and they're like, hey, we're doing like photo shoots with some people for the new sneaker that they had coming out. And they're like, for yours, um, we'd love to do X, Y, Z. And I was like, hey, could I, um, could I draw in the background? And they're like, yep. So I basically drew on the plain wall digitally to make it look like it was street art behind me. And that was my second gig, and then I included them as a client. And then after that, it was all paid and like, pays just got bigger like projects got bigger the pay got bigger um mm. and you just get better and you learn as you go but i so i think like first and foremost just being a good person pays off because right. i don't know like it's all about energy right like if i was annoying like i could be annoying to some people but if i was really down and depressed um while i was doing this for example I wouldn't have got half as many follows on Instagram, for example, as I did. And right. maybe those people work for a company and they want me to be involved, but because of my bad attitude, I, they weren't mm. interested. Do you know what I mean? So it's all about being kind to people, being nice, being um, the best you, you can be. That's yeah. first and foremost. And then generally things will just fall into your lap. But mm. um, after I think a year of being in like illustrating, doing my um, business, I I created it like an EPK, an electronic press kit of mm -hmm. all the projects I had done over the year. And I Googled, well, I wrote down a list of all the brands I'd like to work with. And I Googled um, all of their like emails. So like their PR, if they had PR and what their PR email address was and blah, blah. And it took me about a week, but I made the EPK and I emailed it out to like probably 50 different businesses. Mm. Um, and I got a couple emails back. You don't get all of them back. Um, I got a couple and I got a definite job from that. Um, I booked a job with Diesel, um, creating a filter for them for Christmas um, two years ago. And I think that was the only one. And oh no, an A brand, the, the denim jean store as mm -hmm. well. Um, and then the rest kind of just kept me in mind for later. And then like a couple years later, they've hit me up to do stuff. So since that those beginning time i've worked with nike a bunch of times i've worked with adobe and um, microsoft a bunch of times asics and puma um and you just you maintain your clients by first of all doing good work um being mm -hmm. prompt um and just communicating so obviously yeah. being pleasant to work with but also standing up for your rights so you can't let people walk all over you um so yeah i don't know it's a good advice timeline. you've got to be um, but fair. Yeah. Yeah. And Ab proactive. Absolutely. And I think, I think that, yeah, being, being sort of on both sides of that, um, it's definitely the case, like being, being easy to work with, um, you know, mm. being, you know, uh, you know, being quick, not, not, you know, instant, but, you know, replying to things in a reasonable amount of time yeah. and, you know, um, but yeah, the main being thing on is time like to stuff as well. being on time. Yeah, exactly. Like yeah. for, for events and stuff like I'm always half an hour early if I'm 
like at before like even if they tell me i need to be like half an hour before the event i'll show up an hour before the event just to yeah. make sure like things run smoothly um because i'm just a warrior but it it works to my advantage yeah yeah totally so my wife will used to say if i if i'm not there half an hour if i'm not there half an hour early i've forgotten i'm not coming <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> yep, that's fair enough. <laughs> I could see that. Is that her or you? That's about me. Yeah. 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 I'm like one of those people that if I've got a plane to catch, I'll be there like two hours early, even if it's like domestic. Like I'll just be sitting there, you know. Me too. For hours. I hate that about me. And then some people are just like wing it and get there, like, and it's fine. Yeah. But I tried to do that once. And I almost missed my plane. Oh no, I did miss my plane. I did miss it. And then I had to buy a new one, but it was only from Melbourne to Sydney. So it was all good. Yeah. But that was just like, okay, yeah. I'm not like other people. I need to plan. Like, that's just how I am. Yeah. I don't know if I like this, but what do we think? Do we prefer it kind of neat or like, cause I was gonna just do handwriting, but I think it's a bit childish. So maybe over it gives it a bit of grunge or is it too much? What does the chat think? I'm keen to know. Yeah, let us know. Might need to see it without the text behind it. Or do you think no, you need I, the text? No, I, I don't like it. No, without okay. the text, I don't like it. It looks too like child's journal. Let us know. We've only got a couple of minutes left, actually. Beautiful. Well, I'm done. I don't mind it. This one maybe just needs to be made smaller, like not as tall. So I'm just resizing that. Historian, like what a guy. Historian, author, journalist back in 1800s. Like, yeah. here you go, here you go, guy. Yeah, this is such a great um, selection. Like what a great, great person to to profile. For. It is Black History Month in the, in the US. It's not, not here in Australia, mm -hmm. but um, we now have a US audience. So I think that's a very mm. um, awesome person to pick and I've you know learnt learnt more which I think is always really useful there's all these figures that you just don't learn about um so that's been a really great experience and um yeah this has been a cracking cracking time I think we should um like kind of recap because we've just got a couple of minutes left so um yeah. like in part one you started with the black and white just a black and white image um did the neural filter as well to kind of colorize yeah. the image mm -hmm. um yeah. and then We'll pretend that worked in the first one. That's like something you can do. <laughs> but we yeah, fix, yeah, yeah. we that fix happens. that up. <laughs> we fix that up the second time um, as a you know as a reference, um, mm -hmm. and then you add and then you colorize the the actual um, black and white drawing that you did, illustration that mm -hmm. you did. But then you added your own colors in on top. You weren't quite happy with it tonally, so you've it added in some CPR. more. Yeah, yeah, CPR yeah. As hell. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Super cool. Like that. Yeah. I don't know if it, I mean, it looks slightly better, but in, in the whole, like when you look at it as a whole, it actually made no difference to the whole composition of the thing, but whatever. I just wanted to do it so that when it was standalone, when we started this, mm. um, this one, it looked a bit more finished. No, I think it, I think, I think it certainly does. I think it definitely looks better. Um, add a more detail to it and a bit more depth and like into the jawline and mm. everything like that. Yeah. For what it's mm. worth. Um, Thanks. But, but yeah. This has been amazing. Um, I think we're going to need to say our goodbyes. Unfortunately, it goes so fast. We've done so much in such Do a I short amount of time. Do I come back to the screen? I come back to the screen to say bye. Uh, yeah, come back this to the one? screen. We'll say and we'll say our goodbyes. Um, right. So yeah, thank you, chat. Thank you for hanging out with us. Some great questions in there today. Um, thanks for those who joined us for part one. Um, had a great time. We'll be back next week. We're back next week on Thursday. So same time next week on Thursday. Um, be hanging out with you all. Uh, thanks to Johanna for looking after us. Um, and yeah, thank you so much, Bianca. It's been a pleasure having you back on, hanging out. Congratulations on getting your L's. Um, <laughs> that's awesome. And um, yeah, we'll we'll see you next time on Adobe Live. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks, Lynn. Have a good day. You too. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>